once you've um, plugged in your manual uh, assembly USB, you can double click into launch quick installer. Click yes. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds. Okay, so just make sure that you've uninstalled um, all previous um, XPS printers. And this is important so that you can continue to install um, your new Sigma onto your desktop. And what you'll do is that you'll go into your um, control panel, okay? And you will then click left on it and remove the device, okay? So obviously, as you can see, I've installed it quite a few times, so I can uninstall it over here and I'll just say remove device, okay? So I don't need a copy of this device. Um, so I'll just remove the device. Great. So I've already installed the Sigma, so I don't need copies of it. Um, so I'll click next. And I'm not gonna install it because I've already done it with the USB. Um, so I'm just gonna click install. I'm gonna click accept, click next. Okay, so I'm gonna use the ethernet, okay? Um, so you'll connect using your Ethernet cable um, and connection port that they've given you in your box. So this is mainly just the USB port that you'll connect to your printer. So I'm going to go into your getting your IP address for your USB. Okay, so I'm going to click the user button. Click enter to enter the menu. Click the down arrow to enter the status button okay click down down again down again down again to get the usb ip address we okay. just click down once and then enter the ipv okay great so this is your ipv um for address uh, i've got my usb um, ip address and um, i'm going to now put it in okay so um, please remember to write your IP address down before you plot it in because um, the printer doesn't like to wait for too long. It likes to just um, go back to the menu status. Okay, so I'm going to click install. Okay, so it is already installed, which is great. Okay, great. So now, um, thanks for installing the driver. You will now be directed to the printer dashboard. Um, use the shortcut to launch the printer dashboard. Press done to close the installer. Okay, so I'll click done. Great, and immediately it takes me to the printer dashboard. Okay, um, so I've already created a username and ID and password. Password, sorry. Um, so it'll take you to a dashboard where you can fill in all of those details. Um, yeah, and it's taking, taking me to the printer dashboard where I can basically print from my laptop over here. Um, and you can also get your IP address, sorry, by going into your devices, um, clicking left on it and going into printer properties, go into ports. Okay, great. So copy three. Um, so I'm going to say configure port and here's your IP address as well. Okay, so um, if you want to go back into printer manager, you'll just type in this IP address and it will automatically take you to, um, so I'm just saying control C, go back into my Google Chrome, control V. Uh, it does say not secure, but don't worry about it. And it's taking me straight back into my printer dashboard. And as you can see, it's connected. You can also put it on quiet mode if you'd like, so that it doesn't make so much noise in the office. 
um, and you can change your color, your device details, order supplies, supply details, and um, you can tell the printer when to initiate a cleaning card. Um, so here it says, let's just check. So it will, um, cards will print. Okay, so it will initiate a cleaning card after 496 um, cards have been printed okay so you can change this and i'll show you this in the next video but yeah i hope this helps and i'm i'm happy that it all worked and yeah so you're now back back onto your printer dashboard